بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my name is my name is Tiashan Swain today I will be presenting about the accessible technology in education my study is uh, the review of e-learning for disabilities <laughs> okay e-learning uh, that has defined by Bustel at all 2004 is a medium to provide education accessible to everyone every time regardless the disability while accessible e-learning uh, defined by SEAL 2006 uh, is a courseware and content that is designed to be accessible to the widest possible variety of computer operating system and specialized education removing needless barriers for students with disabilities and providing a level, a level playing field to let them work and learn like everyone else <coughs> So, the, the review scope of my studies uh, will cover uh, these three disability groups which are visual impairment, hearing impairment, and learning impairment. I will also touch a, a little bit about uh, the existence of assistive technology will support uh, in order to provide accessible e-learning. Also, the disability barriers to assess e-learning and the accessible e-learning approach that has been adapted uh, and proposed by previous studies. <coughs> so, assistive technology, AT, also known as adaptive technology, this is actually a tool in ensuring the accessibility of certain products. The adaptation of AT uh, will improve services accessibility for disabled user. Okay, looking uh, at table one, this is a example of AT and the usage in the form of hardware and software. If you can see here, okay, screen reader software. Okay, this this AT will helpful for blind and visually visually impaired students in order to assess web content. Uh, web content is a learning content. <clears throat> okay, this disability barriers to web contents uh, towards visual impairment. Okay, visual impairment here will include uh, colorblind, colorblind, near sector net, or far sector sec net, and also the blind people. Okay, <clears throat> web content also will be harder for blind people because. Uh, they will depend on hearing and sense but web content is actually a text within the web browser so a uh, survey by Fitchin et al 2006 2009 found there is three major challenges for them <coughs> for visual impairment learners is in accessibility of some course material including pdf files pdf files having time limits during online test or examination lack of adaptive computer technologies but nowadays we found there is many uh, AT uh, can can be considered in order to design web content okay but this is not accessible by blind learners due to an inaccessible learning material material use flash silicon tutorials Used in class or computer labs, video conferencing, and PowerPoint presentation with online using browser. Because, okay, uh, for example, Flash, okay, this material usually uh, cannot be interpreted by screen reader. That will be helpful for visual impairment learners. Uh, so, to, uh, to overcome this, maybe we can uh, attach. Um, audio on that content so it will helpful for them <coughs> to ensuring the accessibility of e-learning <coughs> sorry <coughs> okay furthermore uh, our hearing impairment is a hearing impairment learners based, uh, usually depends on their visual based communication such as text image and sign language to interact so the main, ob the main ob obstacle for them where there is no caption or transcript alternative not provided. Uh, also, the uses the usage of complicated language will be hard for them because they will need um, 
mis misinterpretation by them. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, what I mean is uh, the learner uh, the learner cannot get totally uh, what exactly the instructor mean by that word. Okay. Cognitive impairment is refers refers to people in trouble in concentrate, concentrating, remembering, recognizing, and learning new things. Studied by Fry et al. 2009, uh, they, classi they classify uh, cognitive impairment uh, is effect thinking power and IQ, usually lowering it. Varies for them when the web design is complex, complicated path to assess and assess assess have assess time restriction. Okay, so uh, the content, the web design for that will be helpful for cognitive impairment is a uh, simple and in, and consistent in every page. Uh, means uh, like menu button should be consistent consistent in every page. <coughs> okay, the approaches uh, that has been proposed to accessible e learning by previous studies such as uh, Porter 2004 has introduced interactive rhetoric tools uh, as an analysis online language to get inter interactive communication. Bustel et al. 2004 uh, said to provide e-learning, uh, accessible e-learning is ongoing effort. They need commitment from diverse and large community and the adaptation of policies, guidelines and procedures. UL 2007 has introduced meta meta-synthesis approach to bring information and communication technology to those who have learning difficulties. This approach is actually powerful, powerful decision-making ways of thinking tools that enable ICT developers to think in order to designing and developing e-learning to ensure the product is accessible. Okay, Fitchen et al. 2009 said uh, the content should be avoid using image-based PDF which not friendly to screen reader to be interpreted. The, this this type of material will be obstacle for blind learners. Okay, Bookstella 2012 uh, has inter introduced universal design in designing accessible e learning with considering many factors, including aesthetic, engineering option, environment issues, industry standard, safety concern, and cost. This is seven principle should be taking off uh, to provide uh, e-learning more accessible. Cop Copon and all 2011 uh, has those uh, studies in e-learning tools uh, has proposed e-learning tools based on a learner's visual skill. In the model, uh, they said that the, the adaptation advanced video conferencing approach and sign language uh, can be helpful for visual impairment students. <coughs> per Pervatana 2012 <coughs> said um, there is component needed for effective web design learning environment. The adaptation of WCAG 2.0, which covers a wide range of recommendations and standard guidelines for making web content more accessible, has been adapted in the models. Okay, the uh, the things in the the criteria is legal and requirement standard and guideline, evaluation feedback and, and enhancements. Intuitional factors, learner's characteristic, accessible curriculum, visual classroom and delivery, physical classroom, social element, learning outcome. These elements should be uh, combined together in order to provide e-learning, uh, e-learning accessible e-learning. Okay, so uh, from that studies, I can conclude that. Uh, to in order to provide 
designing accessible learning, we, we need, uh, developer need to recognize difficulties facing by diverse of users, learners or instructors. That will be advantage for them in order to provide accessible learning, uh, learning platform. And the adaptation of communication proper, proper assistive technology will close the accessibility gap. So, uh, then, <clears throat> of course, this exercise is not is a not person work, but a, need a bigger team which include all stakeholders with continuous support and coordination to ensure the continuity of e-learning services. Thank you. That's all from me. Uh, see you next time. Bye.